Hello, how's it going, you big pack of rides? Welcome to today's vlog. First off, I wanna say a big, huge, massive thank you for all the lovely messages that you sent yesterday congratulating me on my weight loss. Yes, I am on target and flying it, and I'm now into week four of, as I have now started calling it, the Jules plan. So yeah, I'm delighted. What I want to do in today's video is a recap. For those of you who are already on the plan or those of you who are now seeing the results that I'm achieving and going, I want a bit of that. What is she doing? I'm gonna do a recap and I'm gonna go through what I've done over the last couple of weeks to achieve the weight loss and what I'm gonna do going forward. So let's get started. So for week one, I weighed in and I was 13 stone. And I was like, oh my God. But hey, I know what my goal is. My goal is gonna be, for what I know, I'm five foot seven, I'm age 37 for my BMI. And what I know kind of just suits me and the shape of my body is when I'm in and around, in and around, try that again. When I'm in and around 10 and a half to 11 stone is when my body feels and looks its best. So my goal is for 10 and a half to 11 June. And for me, I know that I'll be wearing clothes that are kind of like size 10 to 12, like a small size 12. And, oh God, I have a whole wardrobe of clothes in there that don't fit me, I think that's them. Going back to you. So I'm in my size 14 jeans at the moment. They are now hanging off me, I'm happy to report. I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks I'll be into the size 12s, and then by the time I get to my goal, which will be early August, I'm aiming for, I'll be back into the size 10 jeans. And I can't wait to make that video and put them on because there is no food that feels as good as getting into those jeans. Hell no. So as I explained before, everything is all up on my website. When you go into my website, you click into the, I think it's called Lose It With Jewels, that's what it says. You click into that and there's a drop down menu. And in that, there is a plan guide. And what you have to do is go in, you pick a breakfast, you pick a lunch, and you pick a dinner that suits you. And then you pick a selection of snacks that you want to have. And all of this is about like, I'm showing you what works for me, but it's all about you adapting it to, for whatever suits you, like whatever foods you like, whatever tastes you like. Like I'm like, I don't have dairy and stuff like that, but if you want to include dairy in your diet, that's absolutely fine. You do it for whatever suits you. And it really is quite simple. A breakfast, lunch, a dinner, and a selection of snacks, and obviously then you gotta exercise as well. Now I'll be totally honest, the past few weeks of my life have been absolutely mental, busy, and insane between the vlog series and uh, just life, work, everything. It's just been crazy. Now I haven't exercised as much as I would like to have, but I tell you what, now that I'm into week four, if I want to get to my goal by early August, I'm really going to have to accelerate that. So I will be going to the gym or doing some form of fitness throughout the day um, at least four to five times per week for 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, we're supposed to be walking 10,000 steps a day anyway. Most of us live very kind of sedentary lifestyles. Um, so yeah, I'm really going to up my game now that I'm into week four. So just to recap, in week one, I did my breakfast, lunches, and dinners, and my selection of snacks. If you go back into my vlogs, you can see what I eat in a day. There's that vlog if you wanna have a look at it to show examples of it. There's also another vlog of where, it's the one where I'm wearing the red top and I'm standing in front of the flip chart, and I'm showing you all the things that I absolutely won't eat, what I'm eating in, in low amounts, in moderate amounts, and in abundance, and explaining all of that. So even sometimes with these vlogs, we need to hear them a couple of times before it actually Actually sinks in because there's a lot of information that I'm putting out there and that's why I'm really conscious about how I'm delivering it because I don't want anybody to be overwhelmed and kind of go oh my god there's so much to learn I just I can't cope I'm running the other direction take it in in bits adapt this whole Jules plan to your life slowly it's not a diet it is absolutely categorically not a diet. It's a lifestyle change, a lifestyle adaptation. In week one, I felt fantastic. I did the de-bloater water every second day. In week two, I did the same. Now by day 14, um, I could feel myself that the weight was really starting to fall off. I could physically feel it in my body. So on day 14, what I did was I increased my carbs. 
um, and on that day, now that didn't mean that I had a cheap meal or anything like that. What I did was I refed my body because I'm on a low carb diet. I just gave it an injection of some good carbs that are slow release energy. So I had more porridge and more sweet potatoes that day than I would on any normal day to just give my body a bit of a boost back up again, just so it doesn't think that there's an apocalypse or a famine or something like that going on. Um, and it feels safe again. Like there is a whole science behind weight loss and how it works. I can't reiterate enough how you can't do it Monday to Friday, eat whatever you want at the weekend and start again on Monday. It just doesn't work that way. The way it works is that you have a starting point here and you have a goal that you want to get to and you have to basically be really, really good until you get to that goal. You can't go up, down, up, down, up, down. You will get to your goal, but the problem will be is that you go off like this and it's going to take you a hell of a lot longer to avenge. You go, oh, you'll just... Sorry, my battery died. Uh, Brian from Birmingham Cameras, as I am your store ambassador, um, I'm going to need a second battery for my Canon G7X, so this doesn't happen again in the future. Thanks, love you guys. So where was I? I was scribbling and I was saying that you will eventually get to your goal, but it's going to be the, the long way. <laughs> the long way around. So what I'm doing is I am just going absolutely straight directly there and the way that I'm doing that means that there are no treats and cheats and stuff like that all along the way and the reason why I'm in this position here is because I've had too many treats and cheats. Mm -hmm. So if I want to get to there as quickly as possible, it means that there's going to have to be some sacrifice. It all has to weigh up and even out, which means that I'm going directly to there, complete focus, and I get to my goal. Now, when I get to my goal, then I will live a life of moderation. Then I can have a treat or I can have a, a little, you know, bonus bit of whatever yummy thing or whatever it is, but not until I get to there. Can't have your cake and eat it. That's what I believe, that's what I know. You just can't. Well, you can, but go the long way about it. No thanks. <laughs> so I know this looks like a mad mess, but this is the Jules plan. And isn't it great that I can just give you all of this information? Actually, do you know what? I am really lucky that I am able to give, give away all of this information and tell you all about what is in the Jules plan with no subscription fees or anything like that. And that is because I have a great sponsor. Big, huge thank you to Havana Skin Clinic who sponsored this vlog series. I would not be able to do it without them. You should check out their website. It's havanaskinclinic.com. I am forever grateful for their support so that I can show you um, all of this. <laughs> so what I'd recommend that you do is go to my website and go surfing through it. There's a huge amount of content there to read and it really is, the plan is as simple as pick, picking a breakfast, lunch and dinner and snacks that suit you, adapting them to your life and staying on plan until you get to your goal. There's loads more other um, interesting stuff that I have lined up. There's just there's so much to cover. I'm kind of glad that I've picked a 90 day um, vlog series because it's going to take me that long to go through everything like I still haven't even got to the whole stuff to do with emotional eating anything to do with depression anxiety I mean there's just so much and that's why as I said I don't want to overwhelm everybody so we'll get there eventually this is kind of like a three-month training class of going through all of the stuff but we will do it together we will make it fun we'll make it interesting not overwhelming and that is how we will get to get through it all basically so thanks for watching today's vlog. I will see you back here again tomorrow at six o'clock.